Before we get started with this video, I would just like to express concern really quick. I ordered some Chinese food thinking it's about to be popping, like my whole life is about to be spelled out for me just on this little tiny piece of paper. And the Chinese people played the hell out of me. This fortune, this tiny little fortune right here, says, about time I got out of that cookie. Anyways, what is up YouTube? So this story time, I was debating whether or not to do it, but I'm savage as fuck, so of course I'm gonna do it anyways. This literally occurred three weeks ago. So shout out to you, you know exactly who you are. Hi, how's it going? What's up, boo boo? So before this specific event, I have never gotten directly friend zoned. I didn't really know what to think. I still don't really know what to think. I'm like so perfect that everyone loves me and all boys like just want to be with me. No, I'm saying like I've never had someone directly be like, I just want to be friends. So this is like a new concept for me. But anyways, let's get into the story. So it started out on a Wednesday because I go to youth group with my friends every Wednesday and we go out to eat after. But on this particular Wednesday, I had gone to the mall with my friend before we went to youth group. We walk in through the food court and I see these two guys and I was like, okay, they have style. Like I, I dig it. I like it. And then I'm looking at one of them and I'm like, damn, like you look fine. And like, I haven't even seen his face, but like, he's just one of those people that like, they look good from behind. So I was like, okay, we need to like catch up to them and see like what he looks like from the front. Cause I bet you he looks just as good from the front. So I'm of course like trying to casually run and my friend over here is like, oh my God, that looks like so-and-so. And I think I know that person too, talking about the guy and we'll just call the guy Cameron. We ended up not seeing them again because we got distracted by this creepy ass man in Zales. If you want a story about that, comment down below. I'd be happy to provide it. So we're walking out of the mall and I was like, just sarcastically, I was like, wouldn't it be so funny if that actually was our friend and then he and Cameron actually ended up going to youth group like wouldn't that be so funny and guess who was there when we walked in just just take a guess just take a guess ding 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 Cameron is the winner I'm talking to my friends I'm like oh my god like who is this guy how do you know him like does he go to school with you like how old is he like is he nice and they're like oh my god he's so nice like he's a senior he's so nice like you two would get along so well so, of course, I'm extremely intimidated by attractive people, so I don't really like to, like, approach them in real life, you know, IRL, I'm very shy. So I was like, okay, whatever, like, nothing's gonna happen here, I'll just, like, admire his face, you know. His group is over, we go to Chipotle like we usually do, and there's, like, 25 of us in Chipotle. I end up sitting across from Cameron, and... I didn't say really a word to him until maybe, I want to say like 20 minutes into us being at Chipotle. So I was talking to my other friends and they were all talking to me. They were like, how's your YouTube channel? What's your subscriber count now? What new videos are you putting out? Just like talking about social media. He perks up. He's like, oh, like you're a YouTuber. You do social media. Like that's so cool. We start talking about that more and we end up exchanging Twitters and then I went home and I waited about an hour before I like slid into the DMs. He started talking a little bit and he was like oh why don't you just text me and I was like I got you boo like got the digits. At this point we're like consistently texting and I think it was about the second day of us consistently texting where in the morning we were talking about something and he was like, oh, can I convince you to go to dinner with me tomorrow night? And I was like, I'll have to, you know, clear the skidge. No, I, I straight up was like, oh yeah, totally. Like, oh my God, yeah. My brother asked for breadsticks because we were going to Olive Garden and I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So we went to dinner and it was about a 25 minute wait. So we went back out to the car and kind of just stood by the car 
for a while and talked and he like brought me in closer to him and that was the first like touching encounter you know and like this guy was super sweet he was holding all my doors open for me like just a genuine like nice guy so at this point we're like holding hands walking to Olive Garden and his friend ends up working there and his friend goes over to our table of course because like they're friends so they want to talk and he looks at me and he's like oh Cameron is this uh this new lady friend and Cameron Cameron kind of looks at him and it's like a little bit more than that and at this point I'm just like his friend continues and is like oh girlfriend and Cameron goes oh we're working on it like kind of in a smirky way like you know I don't know you know you know we finished dinner everything's good like the vibes are strong still you know and we're trying to figure out what to do afterwards because we left dinner at like nine o'clock so I was like hey why don't we watch a movie at my house I have a theater and we can play some pool on the pool table like it's cool and he's like oh my god yeah that'd be totally sick like you know whatever so we go back to my house and my parents are like oh yeah you want to hang out here that's fine like we'll stay out of your way first off Cameron remembered that my brother wanted breadsticks and brought him breadsticks like I am a terrible sister and didn't even recall at all and Cameron was like oh gotta get your brother breadsticks so I was like we go home and we play pool everything's good and we go into the theater about halfway through the movie his friends call him and I'm like yo like let's go somewhere like meet up with us bro whatever he's like no like i'm with taylor right now i can't like i'll call you later and they kept calling a little bit and he kept answering but like he kept telling them like no i'm with taylor right now like i'll see you later we just continue watching the movie and like at this point i'm kind of like my head is on his shoulder you know and he looks down at me and i look up at him and then he pulls my chin and kisses me and i'm just like we wait a little bit and he leaves around like 12 in the morning to go meet up with his friends and I walk him out and we kiss again obviously and everything's good wait about an hour and then I text him like oh I had a great time tonight he was like oh yeah me too like can I come over tomorrow and I was like absolutely you know so of course the next day I get all fleeked up you know hair makeup everything everything did and the entire day he was like oh yeah I'm coming like whatever I was like okay around 7 30 he's like oh sorry I can't come I have something to do and I was like okay whatever you know fine I wasn't mad or anything like I understood he he was busy everything's fine like we continue talking for a few more days you know everything's good and then one day like in mid conversation I kid you not he just stops responding and I was like okay you know whatever probably nothing he's probably just busy with you know exams it's exam week for him so I didn't think anything of it and the next day like that morning I'm like texting him like good morning you know whatever like I typically did no response I was like okay you know he's probably still busy whatever like giving him the benefit of the doubt I wait a few days I'm like oh hey like I was like going and then I saw he was on a trip so I was like okay whatever He's probably just busy on his trip. I wait like about two more days and then I'm finally like, oh hey, how's it going? No response. At this point, it's been a week since he had texted me, talked to me, whatever, but he was still hella creeping on my Snapchat stories. So I was like, what the hell is happening? Like, what is going on? So I finally texted him because I had had enough and I was like, listen I'm a busy person I don't need to be worrying why you're ignoring me so if you could just be straight up with me that'd be cool I was on the phone with one of my friends because he had just randomly like facetimed me and I hadn't talked to him in forever so I was on the phone with him and Cameron responds like an hour later and is like I think we should just be friends I opened it because it was on snapchat because I wanted to make sure that like I knew when he saw it I was just like okay why just wanted an explanation you know and I kid you not he goes just not in the mood 
are in. Like, I'm sorry, what the fuck does that even mean, sir? Let me just gather my thoughts ASAP Rocky because I have no idea what had happened. I'm still on the phone with my friend and I was like, hey, can I call you back a second? The second I hang up, I just start uncontrollably bawling my eyes out. I have no idea why, like, I wasn't even that attached to this guy. It was just like, a moment that I had that like was built up from all the past rejection then I just started bawling my eyes out I called Haley I was like Haley you'll never guess what happened to me I still just don't even like know <laughs> what the hell happened like so if someone could just explain to me what on earth happened that'd be cool because like I have a theory and my theory is he hangs out with people from my old high school. I really don't want to think this theory because I like to see the best in people, but my theory is he hung out with someone from my high school. He was talking about how he was talking to me. They said some shit he didn't like to hear and it freaked him out. I don't know what the story is, I guess I will never know, is Gucci. That is my story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below for further video suggestions, or just if you've ever had something like this happen to you. Follow me on all my social medias. They will be linked down below as always. Subscribe for new videos. I put out new videos every single week. I will see you guys next video and stay Gucci. Drop it low, let me play that back. Bye.